Hello everyone, this is Randall here and today I'm just going to be doing a little gameplay commentary just showcasing just some stuff from Bloom Star Defense 6 and just giving my overall opinions about it. So with this first screen, you have your daily chest which you get powerful um, mini boosting uh, items such as your coins and powers and some free towers. Your right side, you get your daily challenges, you get your settings here. You got your achievements and once you complete an achievement you get rewards such as monkey money which is very good and you finally got your shop which has all your micro transactions so it does monkey money and double cash mode and and all those other stuff the left side here we got your monkeys and your towers so they are all categorized into four different groups so you have your primary your military your magic and your support towers and each all have three different paths you can choose from, but you can only choose two paths during each for each monkey. You can't choose all three of these at the same time. You have to choose these two, these two, or these two only. You can't choose all three of them at once. And once you get to the third one, you can't have two of the same ones from your paths. So, for example, if you choose to choose this path, you can get these four. But you can't have both of these at the same time. And that holds true for all the monkeys and towers. So right here you have your heroes. And you have four heroes. You got Quincy. You got Gwendolyn. You have Striker Jones. And you have Obin Greenfoot. And each of them are different towers that automatically upgrade themselves with levels. So for each level you get a little tiny stat boost. Such as bouncing up to different tar targets with Quincy. Yeah, up to four bounces uh, since he's an archer he shoots arrows and these yellow ones here are his ability so he gets a rapid shot then he gets a storm of arrows and then level 20 is a better version of your level 10 ability that holds true for all of your heroes the middle here you have the play which you can select all your maps and do all the um, on all the main activities. So right here you have your powers and these powers are basically your special agents in this game such as your Silver Monkey Storm, your Pontoon, Portable Lake, and your Banana Farmer. And they've added more stuff to the powers such as having your Road Spikes and your Glue Trap. It's no longer an item that you can purchase with your in-game money. You have to use your Monkey money instead of the in-map money. You also have your mold mines, your camo trap, so no longer you do you have your meerkat spy, you have your camo trap, you have cash drop, time stop, and thrive, and monkey boost. And some of them do come from the Bloons Monkey City game. And your final option here is your monkey knowledge. Monkey knowledge is basically your replacement of your monkey lab where you get to use these points that you earn every level in from your XP. And you can use them on these primary knowledges, military knowledge, magic knowledge, support knowledge, hero knowledge, and power knowledge. And they do slight buffs to those categories such as for primary monkey, your first one is your attack shooter attacks increased by 8% which is good. And right here you have play which you have 6 maps in here plus 3 more beginners so you have a total of 9, nine beginner maps, 5 intermediates, for advanced and two expert and in the bottom left here you can change your hero whenever you want so you could choose Quincy or Gwendolyn or any of those heroes but for now we're we are going to be choosing the very basic map of cubism selecting medium and we're just going to go for the reverse option so my overall thoughts about this game I think this game is pretty good I think it adds a lot more stuff you can do to this game that makes this game more different than Bloons Tower Defense 5. So as you can see, the art style is very different from Bloons Tower Defense 5. There's more of a 3D aspect of the game that rather than having it being a 2D aspect. So now it's more of a bird's eye view than a top down view. So we're just here placing our monkey book in there and we we'll just, we'll just play one, uh, one game on medium. So on your left side you have your powers here, your right side you have your monkeys, you have your upgrades which all monkeys have upgrades and they also have tier 5 upgrades as well which are way 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 powerful 
than the ones in Bloom Sour Defense 5, which only had up to four tiers of upgrades. But in this game, you have five tiers. Oh no, we should upgrade this boy. Oh, we should just use our good old mm, dude over here. Our darn monkey. He's always a good, easy, cheap alternative and pretty early game tower. He's pretty good. So, my, like I said, my overall thoughts about this game. There are some good stuff about this game. There are also some bad stuff as well. But since this is the released version of Blue and Tower Defense 6, I'm not going to flag it too much since there's going to be updates revolving around this game and also uh, by today there's a new update that f has a lot of bug fixes which is going to go for faster shooting double shot and longer range so once i chose that second option the middle path is now closed so you can't have all three of them which is a very very noticeable change for most of the towers here So as you can see, we're just continuing on. There are new upgrades to these towers as well, such as the double shot, which is very nice. It's a very good upgrade, which pierces two balloon layers for one shot, which is very, very good. And yeah, most of these towers do have uh, different upgrade paths as well. Some of these towers have similar upgrades from the last game, such as the dark monkey having the spike pole and the triple shot. But in this game, he also has the crossbow, which is very similar to the sniper monkey, where it shoots one bolt and it destroys a couple layers of balloon, which is, it's a pretty good uh, upgrade. And these tier 5 upgrades, you can't, if you don't have them unlocked, they will be, uh, you can't really see what they look like. But once you do have a tier 5 upgrade, they will look so good like the ultra juggernaut he looks pretty cool the plasma monkey fan club instead of having just normal super monkeys you can have them have plasma blast which is just so good it's so good you also have the crow crossbow master which is oh man he's so cool but for this guy we are going to be choosing the crossbow choosing him make him shoot on strong settings so we're just cruising through these levels nothing too hard and since this is a beginner's map, it's going to go pretty fast. So it's not going to go too, too slow. And here I'm going to show you an example of a hero, which I have Gwendolyn here. Gwendolyn is a pretty good tower in that he or she shoots a little fire bursts at the enemy. In this case, balloons. And every round, uh, a hero gains a, a set amount of levels. And for each level, they, like I said before, they have slight increases to their stats. And now with Gwendolyn's tier 3, she gets a little Molotov, which she gets it throw on the track. And it's basically like a little balloon trap, similar to the Monkey Engineer. And as you can see, we don't have uh, most of the some towers from Bloom's High Defense 5 didn't make the cut. And balloon tower defense six such as the engineer and the balloon chipper but i'm assuming that they are going to be adding those towers later on in the lifespan of the game so like i said before this is the day one version of balloon tower defense six so they are going to be adding more heroes and more towers and possibly more powers in the future but for now this is all we get and here's a new upgrade for the monkey buccaneer it is the merchant man which generates cash each round automatically so similar to the upgrade for the banana farm from blue south defense 4 it automatically uh, grants you money every every time the round ends you get money so that's pretty good that's very very good and he can get more upgrades that allow him to get more money every round and look at this crossbow guy he's just owning he's pretty good he's a really good tower and yes these guys the heroes have voice acting. It's I didn't expect that, but uh, it's a good touch. It's a good touch that they have voice actors that uh, that talk. I didn't expect that, but it's a pretty cool touch. So right here, we're just gonna be adding a little tiny um, monkey village here, which has changed drastically 
in this version of the game. He's now defaulted to not have discounts. He now is similar to the Monkey Beacon from Bloom Tower Defense Pass, where he increases the range of all the towers within the radius. And you can upgrade them to have the monkey discounts as a bottom upgrade. The middle upgrade has the grow shocker and the camo detection. The top has the jungle drums and the bigger radius. So you just kind of had to uh, balance out which upgrades do you want to pick. So in this case, I'm going to be choosing the grow shocker radar scanner. So now this tower can detect camo and lead and can destroy both of them. So that's a pretty good upgrade. And we're just going to be chilling here with the monkey business. And uh, we can add another tower here, such as the super monkey. The super monkey is always a good tower to have. He's just always a, he's always a good tower. He's always been a good tower. But he's just very expensive. And nothing new has been changed to the Super Monkey. He's still a really good tower. I guess the only the one major change that I've seen is that his range has been dramatically decreased. So it's no longer attacking the whole map. It's attacking the small area of a map. Even with the super range and epic range, he still doesn't have that much range. But he still has better range than most towers. And within this game there are also new balloon types as well. Such as the purple balloons which are pretty much the opposite of leads. Where they can't be popped by magic, lightning, or bombs, or fire. They can only be pierced by darts. So that's an interesting balloon type to worry about. Oh, let's get the plasma blast. Yes, the plasmas are amazing. Like always, they're just always so good. They're also fortified balloons where they have extra, where it's basically an armor for the balloon. So ceramics have fortified, Moab types have it all, and also lead balloons. And as you can see there, the purples uh, could withstand the super monkeys attacks. And we're gonna get this knockback and ultra vision, which allows them to do the camo balloons. I just like the the upgrade beforehand where he gets the knockback. It, that's such a good upgrade for the Super Monkey. It's the only drawback is that he doesn't have good range. That's what you're sacrifice. That's what you're sacrificing for having knockback and plasma. But we're gonna get this Dark Knight upgrade because that's just so cool. So cool that a, there's a like a Batman themed monkey in this game and it's part of the Dark Monkey. That's so cool. It's it's just so cool. But yeah, we're just gonna destroy now. <laughs> Cause this monkey just destroys Moabs. He's just so good. I think he's a little too good. I'm pretty sure they're gonna nerf that the price of that because that's so cheap for how good he does against Moab type balloons. So there's gonna be a nerf. There's gonna be a nerf on the price. They're going to increase the price, I'm assuming. And uh, yeah, there's also one new type of balloon, the bad, which is higher tier than the ZOMNG. And here are the fortified balloons where they have extra armor. Firebomb. Yeah, the firebomb is just amazing. Look how fast the, the super monkey just destroyed that Moab. It was like instant. So good. He's just so so good against these Moab types. And yes, the monkey town has make it has made a return, but on the bottom bottom tier upgrade. And yes, the the bad um, Moab type balloon only spawns in at round one hundred. So if you can get up to round one hundred, you're gonna get. You're just gonna you're gonna have a bad time with the bad balloon or bad Moab. There are also these um, ridiculously fast Moabs that are really fast on the track, and it takes a couple hits. I think there are there they have Moab class uh, health, but they are just ceramic or pink balloon fast. 
So they, you just have to worry about those guys a little bit during the late rounds if you decide to play on, on free play. So yeah, I, I might be doing a little series on my channel where I go over all the all of the towers and and analyze their upgrades and talk to you guys about what they are and how to utilize these towers well in the Bloom Star Defense 6 map. Here we go, we're almost done there. I don't think we need to upgrade these guys. I think we're just I think we're just gonna fly through this easily. And that should be it. So the one thing I could criticize this game for in this release day version is the lack of maps. There's not too many maps out. There's only 9 beginner maps and a couple intermediate, advanced, and extra maps. There's not really too many maps that are out there. It is to be expected with its initial first day release. And there's going to be updates and events that will be happening in this game that will keep this game more fresh by adding more maps more powers more heroes and especially more towers and boom there you go guys i think that should be it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching this video it was just a short little overview of what balloon star defense 6 is and what can you expect from this game and we're gonna collect a little money here from an achievement i mean yeah that's that's pretty simple one just speed the track on reverse mode so yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, which will we will be tackling the all of the towers in this game and analyzing their stats and just going through all their upgrades, showing off what they do and how to use them well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, everyone.